Is the economy strong enough to power an eighth straight year of stock market gains? I'm Jack Otter, editor of Barron's.com. I'm here with Brian Rogers, the chairman of T. Rowe Price, and of course, a longtime roundtable member. Uh, so 2017 is going to be a fascinating year. Uh, give us your outlook on what the forces are that will be acting on the market. Mm -hmm. Well, Jack, I, I think the, the economy continues to grow, but at, perhaps at a slower rate. Uh, I think it can't be much slower. Yeah, <laughs> but, you know, you know two-ish percent, you know, okay. which is really basically good but moderate growth. I think market participants are really uh, interested in seeing what happens with Mr. Trump's proposals uh, because they have a very pro-growth uh, tilt to them. Uh, I, th I think one of the big questions for investors in 2017 is how much of that has been priced into stock prices already. And so in that environment, um, you've got a couple of stock picks for us. And interestingly, one of them is your crosstown rival. Well, uh, Leg Mason is the other great investment company in Baltimore. A crosstown rival. Well, uh, Leg Mason is the other great investment company in Baltimore, I, I like to say. Uh, it, has been, uh, it has struggled for the last couple of years. Its stock prices has struggled. Um, and at the current time, it's uh, relatively inexpensively valued. Um, they have a new 15% owner in terms of a, a Chinese holding company. And the CEO, Joe Sullivan, is doing a lot to, to right the ship. And so we think at, at 10 or so earnings, it, it represents a pretty attractive value today. Now, Barron's recently had a cover story arguing that perhaps now is the time for active management. Uh, but of course, it has been very tough for all of you guys. T. Rowe actually has, has held up a lot better than your competitors um, because indexing has just been taking over. So how does that affect Leg Mason, which is, was sort of known for its star stock pickers? Mm -hmm. Well, today, Leg Mason is more a fixed income manager than an equity manager. Um, and probably two-thirds of its assets, at least, are in, in the fixed income sector. I, I think you're right. Uh, passive investing indexing has been a headwind for, for active investment organizations. Uh, that pattern tends to be cyclical. We've seen the, um, uh, a pattern of cyclicality where passive has gained share, and so I'm willing to bet over the next couple of years, active comes back a little bit into favor. Give us one more pick. Uh, an, another uh, company that, that struggled a little bit over the last year stock price-wise, but which has tremendous future, is Bristol-Myers Squibb. Uh, they are the leading company when it comes to immuno-oncology. I'm using the immune system to battle um, uh, various types of cancer. And the stock was down a fair amount last year, and I think over the next couple of years is, uh, offers really attractive opportunities for the investor. Now, healthcare is also a fascinating sector in so many ways, but just looking at the Trumponomics of it, um, how does the new president affect that? Does Obama, the, the end of Obamacare have an effect or not really? Well, I don't think we can have the end of Obamacare until we have the beginning of something <laughs> new. I think it would be good to have a plan in place. Uh, I, I think healthcare was the, uh, the only S&P sector down in 2016. And I think because of that, I think the intrepid investor can identify some good opportunities. I, I wouldn't even venture a guess as to what the, the follow-on plan to the Affordable Care Act will be, but it will have to be something. And I don't think it will have a... Um, a, a damning impact on pharmaceutical companies. Uh, because it's been a tough year, or 2016 was a tough year, the valuations have come down. So where's the valuation of Bristol-Myers? Uh, Bristol-Myers is probably, probably 18, 19 times earnings. Um, a little bit expensive, but um, uh, with its growth opportunities, uh, not particularly overpriced. Thanks very much, Brian. Yeah, pleasure.